guys, so today I am going to be filming my how I do my everyday foundation routine. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory as the title above states. I'm just showing you guys my everyday foundation routine, what I put on my face, what I put on my eyes, and I am rocking natural hair today. <laughs> I want to apologize in advance for the lighting. I really don't know what is good lighting, what isn't. Um, it's kind of frustrating because I have all these lamps in my face and it's blinding me. And then when I come to look at the video footage, it looks too orange or the background's too dark. And I just want that perfect in between. So if you guys know of anything, please let me know. I'm thinking of getting some fluorescent lamps like those long ones and just put them right on my wall. I know they have them at Ikea or Walmart, but I need something that will really show good quality of my video because I use a good camcorder. Um, it's HD and all, so if I don't have good lighting, then the settings in the camera, and it just doesn't work out well, so you need both. Let me know of any light fixtures you guys know of. The whole purpose of this video is because I've been seeing a lot of people doing their updated foundation routines for the summer, and I thought I would just share mine with you guys since it does change from fall and winter to spring and summer. Um, so this is what it looks like. Very natural and dewy. Um, I don't put anything on my eyebrows anymore. I kind of just let them be. And I don't really wear eyeshadow. So you'll see that in the video. Enjoy. On to the video. So I look kind of janky right now. And I apologize for the lighting. I really just I don't know what to do. I already put moisturizer on my face. And I use the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I've really been liking the Laura Mercier one. I got it as a foundation primer sample from Sephora. Well, it is a foundation primer, but I got it as a sample from Sephora, and literally, I just take I take about a quarter size, and I blend it in my fingers, I put it all over my face. Next thing is to um, go ahead and choose the foundation you normally wear. I usually wear Makeup Forever HD liquid foundation. I love this stuff. I've been using this for about two years, two and a half to three years, obsessed with it. But I've also discovered something else. I got this for my birthday from my best friend. It's a Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. And this stuff works so well. The only bad thing is it doesn't have a pump. But what I'll usually do, I'll grab this with my small elf stippling brush. I'll kind of take whatever's off the cap and then I'll pour some onto it. When I feel like I have enough foundation on my brush, I'll go ahead and just stipple it on my face. I go in with a smaller blending brush, this is the MAC 109, and I will just buff that in in circular motion. And the concealer I love and swear by is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. You can find this at Walmart and I've seen reviews and they compare it to the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. I don't know, I don't have the Kat Von D one, but it, it covers pretty well. So grab some of this and plop it all over my face. So once I'm all nice and concealed up, I then go ahead and set it with a face powder. And the face powder I really, again I swear by, is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. You can actually just go ahead and use this foundation itself, it provides awesome coverage. But my mom went to Mexico um, two months ago in March and she picked up this Bisu um, face makeup. I have a review that I'm planning to do and it's comparing the two. Seriously. They work the same, and this one's cheaper, you can find this one online, and you know, it's like the $5 opposed to the 28 or however much this costs now, so I will be doing a review, but for today I'm going to be using this, and it comes in a cute little compact, and I just grab it with a kabuki brush, swirl some in, and I kind of like to roll it on when I first put it on my face. Now for bronzer, I overload on this, so this is optional. Like, you don't really have to bronze if you don't like, but I like using the NARS Laguna. So I'll go in with a MAC 134. I'll just go ahead and get it on both sides of the brush, get it on the sides, tap it off, blend it down my neck to kind of define it, since I don't want no double chin action. I'll go ahead and define my cheeks because I don't have really high cheekbones. So that's how I bronze my face, very quick and easy. Now for blush, I use bronzer, but it's not ordinary bronzer. It's the Too Faced, the Bronze and Beautiful palette. I don't know what to call this. I got this for my birthday, and it comes with such gorgeous shades, if you can see. I'm just going to go ahead and grab Snow Bunny and Sun Bunny, and I'm going to mix the two together. I'm actually going to grab a little bit of Chocolate Soleil, blend that in and then put it on my cheekbones. 
So that's how I do my face. Now what I'll go ahead and do, since I don't really like how it just looks so matte, I like to have it look a little bit dewy. I'll go in with MAC Fix Plus Spray, and I'll just spray it all over my face. I already did it, so just spray it all over your face. In the meantime, I'm going to put on some lip conditioner because my lips are kind of chapped, so just put that on. Okay, so my foundation is set. I've got the dewy look going on my cheeks. It's still setting a little. It's kind of sticky. But next step is to put on your eye stuff. I usually just stick to mascara. So the mascara I use is the Benefit They're Real. Love this stuff. Um, I'm going to put this on and then come right back and finish the video. So you can see my eyelashes. And that is how I accomplish my everyday face. I discovered this routine back when I was at school. I kind of started putting random things on my face, and I really, really like how it looks. Um, very natural, very quick and easy. Usually this takes me five minutes, but since I'm recording, obviously it'll take forever. Um, don't forget to plop on a lip color. I don't know why I keep saying plop. Put on. Don't forget to put on your favorite lip color. I'm still trying to choose right now, so... I'm actually going to go ahead and put on some Snob Lipstick by MAC. Favorite nude pink. Now that I put my lipstick on, that's the final look. Next step is to let down your hair. My hair is on its natural phase. Let's embrace the lioness that is my hair. And that is that. Hopefully this video was helpful to some of you guys. Hopefully the lighting didn't suck. I need to figure out a new light setting or I need to go to Ikea and get some fluorescent lights and put them right on top of my vanity because these lamps are not working. I was blind the whole video, but other than that, now you guys know how I do my everyday foundation routine. Um, leave requests and comments below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.